Hey guys, welcome to a Tech Guru video. Today we are in the application Adobe InDesign CS5. Uh, today in this tutorial, we are going to do an overview of how to work with text in Adobe InDesign. So this is going to be the basics of what you can do with text in InDesign. Uh, InDesign being a word document layout program, a, uh, an application in which you use to create brochures, flyers, pamphlets, uh, programs, different things as that of a professional nature, you have to be able to work with text and I'm going to show you numerous things that you can do with text. Uh, first and foremost, obviously you want to have your text uh, printed out so go ahead and type out some text that you want to work with and I'm going to go over just these basic tools at the top here that are going to show you what you can and can't do with text. Now the first thing that you're going to see is uh, up here when you have the text uh, selected is uh, up here the 72 point obviously this is your size of the text uh, you can make that bigger or you can make that smaller depending on how big or small you want your text uh, the next thing that you're gonna see here this is called the leading what this is is this right here is going to adjust uh, how high or how low it is in comparison to uh, the text below it so let's say I have some text here uh, b below it that I want to type in here um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I typed in something below this text here I typed in tutorial now when when I go up here and I adjust this right here it's gonna change how much space is in between this first line and the bottom line so it's just a internal spacing system that's going to allow you to go in here and adjust that in order to see how, how you know how close or how far you want the lines to be apart. Uh, the next thing that you're going to see is up here, all caps. This right here will, uh, you know, whenever you type, if you want it cap locked, uh, you can just go ahead and, and click that, and that'll go ahead and capitalize everything for you. Uh, the next one is superscript, which will just kind of shrink it for you. It'll allow you to kind of do it in like a superscript form. Subscript, this will put it down below if you want something below it. Uh, underline, this obviously will underline your text. This will strike through your text. All of this is done up here in these little toolbars up here in the top center of the toolbar up here. Uh, metrics, what this is, this is how everything is measured. Either it's optical or metrics. Leave that at metrics. It'll confuse, uh, it confuses me actually if I, if I do anything different there. Uh, now right here, this is a vertical scale. So let's say that I have created a text and the point is at 73. Let's go ahead and make that simple and put it down to 70, okay? Now I want to, to change how tall this text is. I don't want to change how big it is altogether, but I want to change the height of it. Well, I can go up here and I can scale this up to, you know, 100 and, you know, 25%, and when I do that, as you see my text down there, it's getting taller. Okay? The text is getting taller and that's called your vertical scale. The baseline shift. Now, what is the baseline shift? Let me explain to you what a baseline shift is. A baseline shift is the text down here. The baseline is what the text is sitting on. So right here, Tech Guru 77, here's the baseline right below where the type is, okay? If I go up here and I add to that, it's going to raise the text above the baseline 7 points, 8 points, 9 points, okay? So that is what your baseline is. And there's a lot of times when you want that to be a little off-centered for what you're doing in, in your program or whatever it may be. And I can also go the other way. If I go down negative, it's going to go below that baseline however many points that I take it, okay? And that, again, is called your baseline shift and that is all done right here in the baseline shift uh, toolbar here okay so I'm gonna go ahead and just put that right at negative one uh, right here is your horizontal scale and this is pretty self-explanatory the horizontal scale is how far left or how far right it's going okay if I go left here it's gonna bring the letters in this text closer so the 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 smaller that I scale it the tighter that text is gonna go now if I if I go up above 100 it's going to space those letters out even more. So I'm going up to 110, 115. As you can see, my text in between each letter is getting bigger and bigger, and that's called your horizontal scaling, okay? Uh, the skew, which is the false italic, it's going to kind of bring the lettering either uh, slant it to the right or slant it to the left. This is a way of it italicizing lettering in a way if you want to design it in a different way. So if you don't want to italicize it altogether, but you want it to kind of slant right or slant left, you can do this right here. Say I'm slanting it left a little bit. All this is done 
with the skew toolbar up here. It's called false italic. Now this right here is your fill, okay? And this is the coloring of the text. So, so you see there, I changed that to blue. Uh, I can change that to pink. I can change that to red. You can do all of that here. And then this right here is your stroke, which will be what will be, uh, you know, around the text. So if I want black around the text, then I, I go ahead and change that there, and that puts me a little black border there, okay? Um, up here, you have your character styling, and this is where you can apply your bold and italicized effect, and you also have some options here to change the language, okay? Now over here is some stuff that you probably already know about. You can align the text center, align it right, uh, do all of that stuff. Uh, left indent, so this is where you do all of your indenting, and this right here will just need to be, do, will need to be done if you're typing paragraphs and a lot of times you'll need to space them differently within a project and you can do that all right here okay right indent left indent okay all right here within your text so there's so much that you can do with text with an InDesign that it's absolutely crazy and there's so much more than even what I just showed you this is just the basics of getting started with text within InDesign but all of it is done by selecting your text up here Okay, and then going up here to your toolbar and adjusting uh, some stuff that you can do with your text. Okay, and I'll show you some more advanced stuff in a later tutorial, but this is just your basics that you can select your text and go up here and change all of these settings up top. Okay, so this again is a tutorial on how to work with text within Adobe InDesign. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, put them in the comment box below. If not, I will see you guys next time.